good morning it's wednesday february what is this february 16th something like that and i thought i'd shoot a quick video of my garden it's always great to be able to look back on these videos i have a few things i want to do today that um, are going to require some effort i have this jasmine that i had that just got overgrown and I think that the space can be better used for planting vegetables. So I'm going to pull this out today. Cut it back, pull it out. And I think I'm going to use this area to plant um, some more, use some containers to plant more um, vegetables. Over here, strawberries. Oh, this is my peach tree. No snow here, Adrian. I don't understand. I keep waiting for it to happen, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's likely. Just planted these peas. These are snap peas. And um, Iceland, Iceland poppies, I think that's what they're called. Oh, look, we're being visited by Ariadne. Hi, Ariadne. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm on camera. Hi, Marie. Compost area. I'm gonna turn the compost. I'm gonna start, here in California, we have a new law that we're supposed to compost um, all your yard space, all your all your food scraps are all supposed to be composted. They're supposed to put them in the um, yard waste bin and not in the trash. And that's not going to change my life any because we've always put them in the compost. So I'm going to change things. Hey, Kenny. So what I'm going to do, these are carrots. And this is carrots. And these are beets. And what I've noticed is that it's too hard to get back there and maintain the carrots because the beets are in the way. So I think the beets are going to move. I'm going to move that beet box. These are all radishes. I keep, you know, as, as a radish uh, is pulled, I plant another radish in its place. And I just bought a whole bunch of seed packets. This area over here, Mark has kind of been keeping for sunflowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these sunflowers and replant them somewhere these sunflowers. I'm going to replant them and then I'm going to put the beets I think in this area right here. And that way this pathway right here above will be wider and I'll be able to get to the carrots. So that I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the sunflowers someplace where they can be, they can grow probably back here behind the blackberries. See the blackberries? Well they're red right at the moment but you can see that we're getting started. I'd love to have blackberries all over the place, but the problem with blackberries is that they get into the ground and they just take over. They're really, really bad at that. And they're they're delicious, but I just don't have the property to grow these on. Over here, I've got some onions, but I'm going to, but there's also some um, cucumbers, I think, inside there. And here I have a, I have some carrots. So I gotta replant these. Oh, see the things I was working on during this, during the, um, the bad weather we had. I made some little things. Um, so oranges are still going. I got my hydrangeas. Lemon, I mean, these are all oranges, different varieties of oranges here. So I have all oh, freesia starting to bloom. I'm gonna put a tomato in here, but I gotta, I gotta, Got to figure out which tomato I'm putting here. These are all peppers. Here's Ariadne again. <laughs> peppers. Uh, we picked them all when we had, we picked a peck of peppers. We picked them whenever we went to, uh, when I had that barbecue the other day, grilling session. My chrysanthemums here, I got to get these all cut back. This woody part has to come off. That needs to be done. California poppies coming out. Dahlias, I need to cut that back. So I've got a lot of fussy stuff to do in the garden today. Over here, I'm going to plant some lettuce. And these are some tomatoes that I have that I'm going to start. Well, not really. Well, start. i got to get them going. This is some green beans. So what I think I'm going to do, and I've ordered some pea pod, and I'm going to put those out when they get here. And I think what I'm going to do... Here's a variety of tomato I'm going to try growing. I also ordered some Caspian Pink, which is my favorite. Hi, Bavel. So this is a looks like a Caspian Pink, sort of. I'm going to try that growing that from seed. I've never 
really tried. The reason why I don't grow from seed is because we usually have such a good variety down at the home store. And, uh, <coughs> sorry, I've got the sneezes. Um, there's usually such a good variety that I don't need to go and, and, and grow things from seed. But I'm going to try some because I really like to try a few different kinds of varieties. Like I said, the Caspian pink was one I used to grow before. And they're real meaty and pink. And they're, um, they grow to be such a good size. And they grew so well in my garden. So I'm going to try starting those. And then I bought a whole bunch of more radishes. There's this one. And these two, these three, I've never tried before. This is a, a long kind. Now, I don't eat radishes. I can't stand them. But I love to grow food, even if I don't eat it. So this is a long French breakfast, it's called. And this is a pink lady slipper. So I like making them. They're fun. People enjoy them. And I bought a variety of carrots because I need more carrots because I'm getting close to running out of carrots. So I got some weeding to do. Pull those out. Move some containers. I've got to turn my compost piles. This is where I'm going to put my tomatoes. But I think I'm going to do, I was watching a video to, yesterday. I think I'm going to do something different on how to grow these tomatoes. Because look how they get really bushy like this. And they're not really producing tomatoes. They're just bushy. Yes, I know it's February. These are left over from last year. And so I want to kind of get these. Um, they were talking about how to prune them so that you don't have the bush as much as you have. a, And it'll produce more. Um, tomato. So all this has got to be ready for tomatoes. And you can see some of the other flowers. Here's another hydrangea. Here's a freesia. I love my freesias. And this is one of the only yellow, non-yellow ones I have because the dominant source is yellow. So once they start multiplying these freesias, they'll all go back to a yellow freesia. Um, oh, and look at my... um. Look at my apricot tree. Just a couple days ago, I put up a vid, uh, picture of one of the bulbs, buds I saw in it. And look at this. We're getting a whole bunch. So I pruned this all back. And good thing I did, because we're gonna have a lot. Cherry tree, looks like we're budding over here also, huh? Right in here. So maybe we'll have a better cherry season. We haven't really had a really good year. And the plum, yep, it's budding also. Look at that. So the plums, I've had, this is a four off. So there's four different varieties of plum on this tree. So I have had a couple grow. Same with the apricot. There's four different kinds of apricot. I've had some of the branches, like this branch will give me will give me apricots, but some of the other branches don't give me apricots. So I'm hoping that maybe this is the year that I'll be able to get all four. It's nice because they kind of rotate, like one will grow and then the other. Anyway, hope uh, hope you enjoyed my walk in my garden. It's so exciting. <laughs> the, sit in the Gerbic Bounty and eat, yeah. <laughs> it's, um going to be a beautiful day today. My Oh, and Marco's talking about the... I cut this way back. I don't know if you guys remember. I cut back my Concord grapes for the first time. I've never cut them back. I chopped like crazy and he's like, they're not going to grow back. I think we're going to see some buds here in a few months because I think that it'll be fine. This is an established grape that I planted in 2002. I don't think we're going to have a problem right at the moment. It doesn't look like it's doing much. And then back in here, I have a whole bunch of succulents. Strawberries aren't doing so good. I mean, the green and all that, but. So maybe what I'll do is I will plant in the back of this some green beans or peas and then grow them up against the fence. And hope that that will work. I have to move the netting so it's more on the strawberries. But I think I can do that. And then right here I want to put peas or, or green beans or something, get some climbing stuff going on top of this fence that I gotta get down. Get the, the jasmine off of it. 
So spend some time outdoors if you can, you guys, even if it's snowing. Sorry to hear that. Frost is long gone if we even had it at all this year. Climate change, global warming, give me a break, huh? <laughs> I've, every year it gets earlier and earlier and earlier. And I've, I've been able to save my peppers many years. Some of these peppers are probably three or four years old, but I've, I don't think I've ever had tomatoes live the whole year. And in the front of the house, I still have tomatoes. So <laughs> where it's really warm against a, a wall. Have a great day, y'all.